Hi everybody and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I want to introduce you to your own homemade mixed spices or pumpkin spices. These are the spices that have that sweet flavors that you go into your Christmas dishes, into all those beautiful spicy cookies. Now I'm gonna show you how very easy it is to make your own by using fresh spices and rather than powders, wherever possible, use the whole clove or seed. Okay, and here are the spices that you would normally see in a pumpkin pie mixed spice or in a, a mixed spice, an English mixed spice. Now, this is a cinnamon quill from the cinnamon tree. We've also then got these wonderful allspice. They are a little berry. They look a little bit like a juniper berry. They're often known as Jamaica peppers or myrtle peppers. Um, they have all the flavors of these spices together, and that's why they're called allspice. We've got nutmeg. That is a seed inside there, a little nutmeg in there. We're gonna be using that. And dry ginger, of course. You can get whole dry gingers, but uh, they have to be dry. You can't have moisture in there. And quite often, and this is optional, you often have clove in there as well. So I've got some little cloves that are gonna go in also. Now normally I would use equal amounts of all of these spices apart from the cloves. So I'm using a little bit less. These are about five grams. That's about 0.2 of an ounce. So firstly, I'm gonna put the allspice in my little electric grinder. Now you can do this with a hand grinder as well, but it's a little easier with one of these. Now I'm breaking up my cinnamon quill and I pop the broken pieces of cinnamon in there. I've cracked open my nutmeg and I'm taking the whole nutmeg out from the center there. That's going in as well. And then I'm going to add around about six cloves. And that's going to go then onto my electric grinder, and then we pop the lid on. So once all those spices are nicely ground up like that, I'm just going to add the last, the powdered ginger into there. And one last little whiz. Really just a few seconds. And we've got this beautiful, oh, and the smells from that fresh mixed spice or pumpkin spice. Now pop that in a tightly sealed, container, nothing too big because we don't want a lot of air in there, or use it straight away. It's absolutely delicious. Oh, heavenly, they smell absolutely delicious, guys. Always try and make fresh spices if you can. I mean, I know sometimes you have to buy powdered spices, but fresh ground smells and tastes much better. These are actually going in a sticky treacle loaf that I'm just about to make, and that'll be going up on the channel very shortly. So I'll put my subscribe button down here. I'll see you in the next video, be good. And guys, I'm gonna put a couple of links up here uh, for some other videos and my subscription buttons there as well, as always. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. I'm gonna be making a sticky treacle loaf very shortly and that'll be going up. So thanks for watching, guys. Be good. See you shortly. Recipe sticky and gooey and an absolute delight. Come with me, I'll show you how.